Hi there, everyone. Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It's currently the 7th of August, 2012. We're still watching our Typhoon Hakui here moving off there towards the west, expecting to make landfall by Wednesday morning just south of Shanghai. But also, uh, we're going to jump into this really quick here. Right off the bat is talking about the enhancement of the southwest monsoon across the Philippines, including Manila, Quezon, and also around Cavite. I've been hearing reports throughout the day today of severe flooding. And here's some photos coming out of the Region. Uh, first, we'll take you to some photos out of Cavite area where you can see these roads continuing to be flooded. Uh, meanwhile, in Quezon as well, there was a report yesterday of upwards of about 323 millimeters in the past 24 hours of this heavy rainfall. This has been adding up over the past several days and just causing these serious situations. And if we take a look at actually at the satellite imagery coming out of uh, the Philippines here, now this is a visible slash infrared imagery, but what you can really see is just as bright broad area of convection really just kind of spinning up here. It is slightly being enhanced by Hakui, but I think that is more uh, indirectly associated with that and more directly associated just with the southwest monsoon and a low pressure area attempting to develop up into the center of the circulation. So uh, definitely still a very dangerous situation as that area continues to linger here. And even in Manila, uh, a lot of uh, business are still open. This photo just showing people going through this intersection here and you can see just a completely flooded roads, but a lot of businesses, even schools, have been staying open just because of the fact that this is just broad area of convection with the rainy season. And it's not really being worn out all too much. Pagasa has been putting out weather advisories stating flooding and landslides really could be very possible with this. But... Uh, once again, though, it's just this continuous amount of rainfall, and unfortunately, as Hakui continues to linger off there towards the north, the southwest monsoon continues to push in here towards the south. I don't think that this is going to be improving in the near future. But at least by the end of the week, there might be some relief in sight. Now, this is the GFS model outlook. You can see that enhancement of the monsoon continuing to blow across the Philippines here. But then as we go into Friday and then at least on the Saturday, that's about this frame rate here. You can see that that rainfall starts to slowly ease off across Luzon here. Still a couple pockets there, but nothing too significant. So at least... Friday and the Saturday, I do expect it to decrease, but until then, flooding and landslides obviously are going to be very high in risk, especially urban flooding in these poor drainage areas. It really just shows a combination of rainy season plus uh, overpopulation plus poor infrastructure that's really kind of occurring across much of the Philippines there uh, throughout this weekend and into last week. So definitely still a very dangerous situation. My hopes really go out to everybody out there that is currently suffering through this. And let's hope that a lot of people do take into account these floods, businesses do shut down, and a lot of prepare and cleanup effort it starts to go through the remainder of the week, and at least schools get closed down for the time being because uh, still a very dangerous situation. Now, uh, let's talk about Akui because on this model, you cannot... Uh, look away from it. You have that storm pushing onshore. Meanwhile, also over here towards the east, this is our tropical depression 13. Uh, that's expected to intensify, but eh, nothing really with that. You can see that kind of runs off towards the Krill Islands and blows off towards the northeast. Uh, Kui, though, pushing off there towards the west, expecting this to make landfall here just south of Ningbo. That's south of Shanghai, which is raining in this area. Uh, as it does so, it also will be slowing down, as shown by the JTWC track overlay on this map here. You have it slowly tracking off there towards the west, but then it hits a high pressure off there towards the northwest. We've been talking about this for several days now, and once it hits this, it is just going to stall out. Unfortunately, uh, much of China could be seeing some heavy rainfall. Actually, 350 millimeters plus is very likely across much of this area around the Zhangjiang, uh, or excuse me, Zhangjiang province out here, and also around Shanghai, you could be seeing these heavy precipitation, uh, just like we saw in Beijing about two weeks ago, that urban flooding that occurred out here. Uh, I think Shanghai might be on tap for this as well, especially in those metropolitan areas. So it's still it's kind of a developing situation with this storm, even though and it's now past Okinawa. You're still seeing some outer rain bands there, but finally the conditions are starting to improve. But now, China, you're going to be on tap. And even northern Taiwan, you could be seeing up to about 100 millimeters in some of your mountainous areas. But here's the most recent model guidance. You have that high pressure off there towards the northwest. And then once this low hits that, it's kind of like a wall. It just stops it dead in its tracks. The storm kind of wants to go off there towards the north, uh, the northeast. Some of the models are actually pulling down there towards the southwest. Uh, regardless, it's going to be moving exceptionally slow. 
and that's what's going to be bringing that heavy rainfall because the storm's not going to be going anywhere. And also, it's close enough to the coastline that it's still going to be picking up that moisture out of the very warm East China Sea here. So uh, it's definitely uh, it's still going to be causing that threat of low line flooding and uh, even the gusty winds and storm surge right near the coast. But at this time, this is what the current radar imagery looks like coming out of China. You can see those big bands already starting to move closer and closer to the shore, moving away from Japan at least. But now, uh, China, you're going to be on tap here and expect this uh, conditions to deteriorate through your overnight hours. Once again, though, by Wednesday morning, uh, definitely into the early morning hours, you very well could be seeing a landfalling system here with that eye wall moving on shore. But as throughout your day on Tuesday, I already expect those rain bands to start moving in. I would expect by to the late afternoon, the evening, Shanghai as well, to begin to see those conditions deteriorate. And here's the most recent track from the official agency here, the Japan Meteorological Agency, pushing that storm just south of Ningbo there and then off towards Shanghai. And put Shanghai actually into the right front quadrant of this storm as it still is a severe tropical system by this time. Uh, definitely rainfall is going to be high at risk and a lot of this uh, loose debris flying around in the metropolitan area. So uh, that's the current track here. We're definitely going to continue to keep you updated. I'll try to put on another update in about 12 hours from now, not just on Hakui, but also the current flooding situation taking place in the Philippines. But otherwise, the rest of the western Pacific is rather benign today. Uh, southern Japan, you might see some rainfall, but most of Japan actually stays relatively quiet. Even southern portions of Korea, some out of rain bands might move in there. But otherwise, uh, most of China, besides the east coast, remains rather quiet as well today. So, uh, thanks again for watching. No, please stay safe out there. Once again, I strongly suggest if you have any photos or videos, please share them with us here at westernpacificweather.com. We'll try to incorporate them into the two cast just like we did today. And also reminding you, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spenner or follow the website on Facebook and Twitter at Western Pacific Weather. So, alright, stay safe out there and have a great day. Bye.